YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting around to doing the box opening of my Reborn doll sculpt. So a little backstory here. My fiance and I were talking about our upcoming five year anniversary of us being together and we usually discuss what we're going to get each other because that is maybe our one or two times of the year where we get to pick out um a really big gift and exchange gifts like that so i immediately thought of the Evelyn by Cassie Bray Sculpt because I've been eyeing it for a long, long time. You guys know that I do want a boy in my collection of Reborn Baby Girls, but it has been a challenge to really connect with a sculpt that I see all boy with. So when I came across Evelyn, I was just blown away at first i thought robin by nikki johnson was the one but when i saw evelyn i knew that was my next dream baby to have in my collection but at the time it just wasn't a really good time for me to spend hundred some dollars on a sculpt especially since i wasn't getting it reborn right away <clears throat> So, I just threw the idea out there that that was what I wanted as my anniversary gift. And, um, we often talk about my Reborn dolls and stuff. And he jokes with me. He's like, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Um, I'm never going to buy you a Reborn doll and all this and that. <laughs> and he surprised me. Because when I mentioned it, he was like, go ahead, just get it now. It's limited edition. It won't be around the month of our anniversary, so just get it now and you'll have your early anniversary gift. And I was just blown away. I was so surprised. Uh, McPhersonsCrafts.com was the only website that still had this sculpt in stock. So I just hurried up and I immediately purchased it and maybe about two weeks or so later it came in the mail and you guys I was just so happy about it I really 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 wished I had done a box opening or a scope review or something of true it before she was painted so you guys can really get the comparison of the before and after but um it was a crazy time during that time in my life and I didn't get a chance to do a whole lot of videos. So this time around I get a chance to show you guys the sculpt. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'll start off with her certificate of authenticity and it says Evelyn by Cassie Brace and I do laminate my certificates and my um birth papers and all of that when I adopt a reborn so Evelyn by Cassie Brace um she is number 128 of 800 in the edition so that is our number for our baby boy to be he doesn't have a name me and my fiance have been bouncing around names and I really wanted him to play a part in choosing the name but he is being so goofy he's not taking it serious enough but anyways so I am going to put Trudy down for a moment and show you guys the sculpt so first I'll start off with the body and it's a nice doe suede body like you typically see. This one does have the gathered chest and gathered bum. So it has booty cheeks when he's all stuffed. And it's a really nice size. I measured it out and it's 11 inches. Hello, shout out to Kelsey out there because she recently got her baby girl um mira reborn and it is also an evelyn by cassie brace baby and she told me when she first ordered 
her scope that they sent her the wrong body and I was like oh no I hope they don't send me the wrong body how would I know if they sent me the wrong one and she says measure it it should be around 10 or 11 inches because the one I got was 8 so this is the appropriate body I have measured it and I'll start with these beautifully sculpted legs the vinyl is so soft and so squishy, just like Trudy was. Here are those little toes. I feel like the toes and the legs are almost the same as um, Truett's Sculpt, which is the Elise. But it is a little bit different. Look at those fat rolls. Mainly the differences are in the toes. Because true, its toes on one foot, the toes are spread apart a little bit, and these are kind of scrunched up. So, very beautiful vinyl. I love, love, love those baby fat rolls. And I will put the camera down in a little bit and show you guys the parts next to the elise sculpt trudy so you guys can get a comparison of the size and stuff but i can tell you right off the bat these legs are almost three times bigger than truett's legs so here is the left arm and hand i wasn't too sure if i liked it the pinky finger out because Usually in doll sculpts, I either like both hands open or both hands closed. And this one's kind of a combination of both. But I just love the Cassie Bray sculpts. And I knew however the hands were, I was going to love it. And I do look at the right hand. Two fingers are out. Kind of have a small fist forming there. And the details are so, so nice on this. Those little wrinkles, especially by the wrist. It's really, really nice. I can't really do any kind of review for you guys. I can only tell you what I like about it. What I don't like about it. Um, it's very... I don't think there's anything I don't like about this sculpt. At least yet that I can see. Maybe after the baby's put together, I may be able to, but I seriously doubt it. I really love it. The arms are definitely longer than Elise because they're more stretched out, whereas the Elise sculpt's arms are kind of curled up, and they are thicker. And last but not least, the beautiful face. Oh my god, you guys. Look at that face. Oh, so cute. And the head, it has like the cradle cap. I think that's what you call that. That little line of indentation when babies are newly born into the world. The details on that face. The mouth isn't as deep as Elise Sculpt, but that's fine by me. It could still take a modified pacifier. The little chin rolls and neck rolls. I like how the ears are sculpted. Um, if you wanted to make this a girl, you could still pierce the ears and have the backs so of the earrings hanging out. That's what I really love about Cassie Brace's ears. They're very realistic. They kind of stick out and separate from the head. That cute little butt nose. It's almost shaped like my nose. Almost. <laughs> it's just so cute. And I see all oh boy every time I look at this sculpt, you guys. Like, even as a ball baby, he would be so, so cute. But I am very much interested in him having hair. So, that is my Elise sculpt. And I will now um, put the body together a little bit so you guys can get a... Look, see of how it is next to the Elise. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Excuse the mess. I do have the babies laid out on my desk because it's closest to the light source. I have taken a long time to do this video because 
I was kind of waiting on some really good sunlight, but with the weather the way it is and being hurricane season, that really wasn't an option. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and do it now before it gets way too late and off my mind. So here is on the left is my already reborn Elise by Cassie Bray sculpt. And on the right is my new baby boy, the Evelyn by Cassie Bray Scope. So you guys can get an idea. Look at those legs. Like, you can really see that the legs on the right are way bigger than the legs on the left. <laughs> Thicker, longer, because of the position they're in. I didn't stuff the body or anything, but as you can imagine, it'd be a lot rounder and longer once it's all stuffed and put together. I can tell you right now, this head is huge. I can't remember the exact measurements of the head for Elise, but I know the measurements for Evelyn is 14.75, and I'm pretty sure that's bigger than what Elise was. So... The measurements in a nutshell, let me pull it up on my phone. Okay, the Evelyn is 23 inches long, full arms and full legs, 14.75 inch circumference head, and it's an addition of 800. So those are the specifics, and I am just in love you guys i am so in love can't wait for my big boy to be reborn um and yeah i'm going to wrap up this video all right you guys so that is it for my unboxing of evelyn by cassie brasco i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was a little bit helpful if you have ever wondered what the two sculpts look like side by side and of course, I will be back again once I have my new baby boy reborn and complete. I will show you what he looks like next to his little sister because I really do think he's going to be way bigger than Truett. So I am so excited about this. I'm pretty happy about it. Just a little chat topic. I have actually been looking into getting this boy reborn and it has become a challenge because a lot of reborn artists are not accepting custom orders any longer. They are burnt out. Um, they are worn out either for the year or for good. They want to just make babies to sell and not customs. So it's been a challenge. It's also been a challenge to find an artist that I can afford because I never lowball an artist's prices. Um, whatever they charge, it is well worth the price and I know what entails when it comes to reborning. So I would never lowball an artist's work. However, it is my choice, my decision, if I want to spend over my budget on a doll um, and right now it's just not happening. My budget has to stay what it is and I really can't afford a reborn doll that's over a thousand dollars. That's even if it was a toddler. Right now that's just not happening for me. But I am still in search of an artist and I have been making a few emails and contacting a few of my favorites so we'll see. So. Ultimately, I would love, love, love nothing more than another birthday or Christmas baby like Trudy was. Trudy was a birthday slash Christmas gift for me. And if you guys remember, she came to me on Christmas Eve. So that was really exciting. I would love to have another baby for December. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. I won't be impatient. The main thing was to be able to secure the sculpt before it sold out. I can always get it reborn at any time. So thank you so much to my loving fiance. I love you, babe, if you're watching this. And thank you guys for tuning in again and watching my videos. So we will see you in the next video, which will be really soon. Today I'm filming this. 
it is actually Wednesday and this Saturday me and my girls are having a dolly meetup so I miss them so much I wish we could do it like every weekend but of course we all have jobs and families and responsibilities uh if you remember the last time we had a meetup was in April I did do a video for that I will try to do another video because we'll be visiting some places we haven't went before and I'd love to get it on camera and give a little shout out to Julie, Kelsey, and Londa. Hopefully Londa and all the rest can attend this time so everybody will be together. So I'm pretty sure I'll be doing an outfit changing or a outfit of the day or something of what Trudy will be wearing once I figure out what she's going to be wearing because I have no idea. I have lots of cute outfits for her that she hasn't worn yet and I haven't made up my mind. So, yeah, it is getting hot in this room under this light. So if I sound like I'm out of breath, I probably am. And I think I just hit Trudy in the head. So anyways, I'm going to go, you guys, and we will talk to you later. Bye.